Welcome, welcome back to the channel where you uniquely you is your girl uniquely J. And for today's video, you guys, it's going to be uh get ready with me as I do my makeup because I have to film videos today. Today is Tuesday, August 8th, and I've been very busy since I've been um since I've been home. Like literally, literally. If you're why I'm in the background, please ignore her because she's screaming. <sighs> Before we get any further, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I upload for you guys. And follow me on all of my social medias linked in the description bar down below. And I'm gonna make sure I put them on the screen somewhere so you guys can go follow your girl. And also, if you hear the little fire alarm beeping, don't say anything or you're anti black, period. Now, this setup is weird, so I'm still trying to get to a good setup. The current setup I have is literally like crazy, so. All right, y'all, so we're just gonna kind of hop into all of the drama and the mess that needs to go over. First, we're gonna start with YNW Melly because, as you guys know, if you've been watching his, like, trial, I didn't watch the trial. I just kept up with it on TikTok, and I was looking at people's theories about who they think did it. And what I concluded from watching, like, the snippets of the trial and people explaining it, the prosecution did a poor job, and the defense basically ended up getting a mistrial. They didn't end up getting it, but like the defense was defensing, and they only brought one witness literally, one witness who was in the other vehicle. And yeah, it was so much. Honestly, I think that the prosecution did a horrible job, detectives did a horrible job. They didn't go beyond what they were supposed to do. They just kind of was like, oh, he was in the car when we found him or when we got called to the hospital so he must be the shooter he must be the shooter even though Borland is the one who's found the bodies after an hour of them being already dead he got already changed clothes he lied to y'all about being in a shootout I mean in a drive-by so it's just like a it's just a lot and Borland's trial starts on October 2nd and then Melly's new trial date starts for October 10th so we're gonna see but it's gonna be hard for them to find a new jury because everybody's been like well I'm not gonna say everybody but it's a very popular trial a lot of people were like in on it and then allegedly they have a juror a juror who came out and was saying that one of the jurors during the case had ended up convincing like two more people or like one more person to vote not guilty i don't know if it was guilty or not guilty it was like eight to three no it was nine to three a nine to three vote so i don't really know i don't really believe it because hey it's editor jay i just came in here to explain because i didn't explain during the video so i don't believe it's true simply because they should have told the judge passed a note did something anonymous sorry for the beeping still but yeah i just feel like they should have told the judge instead of going in interviewing with whomever this article originally came from why tell the public or tell them knowing it's going to go out into the public and not the judge i don't know i feel like that's a big iffy yeah i just don't believe it but whatever prosecution did a poor job at trying to give us anything honestly that's all i'm saying like they literally tried so hard and it really failed because they did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that melly did this and that's the whole point like you have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that melly is the shooter and things like that but in another video i'm going to like details in different people's theories and some theories i agree with some theories i don't agree with but yeah so that's it with the um ynw melly trial for the moment and now we're going to go into the tour versus meg well tour versus the state of california because people swear this trial was about tour versus meg when meg didn't press the charges the state of california did literally like if you look at the case it's the state of california versus whatever tory's real name is okay mr daystar the reason why i want to talk about it is because today i was on twitter or the new app x i'm calling it twitter because that's what it is to me this girl saying how much she hates Meg and that every time Tori goes to court, she has to like, she, she has to call out of work, not make any money. She also has to drive uh, like an hour or some change. She has to drive very far, okay, to the trial every time she he gets called to court. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is a family member. So obviously the family is going to hate Megan, even though they should be hating the state of California, but whatever. And then she starts to say that he's my artist. And then that's when I realized everybody's not on the same scope in the head when it comes to celebrities. Like, you a Tory fan or? 
family. that I really adore like I really love to do not love to do let me not do all that I really enjoy like their music their art their their artistry and overall right so that's like Key Glock Tink Coco Jones it, like on G Girls like it's that's that's not childish but like it's just certain like people that I'm a fan of theirs but I would never call out of work for a person who don't know me to go to their trial y'all are mad at Megan as if she's the one who pressed charges when y'all need to be taking it up with the state of California but anyway he got sentenced to 10 years today and then it's crazy because he basically on Twitter it's called pop base Tory Lanez insists he's innocent in the Megan the Stallion shooting but he also says if he's guilty it's because of his alcoholism and childhood trauma. He reportedly claims that if he did do it, he needs therapy instead of prison. And then I found out how he got sentenced. And then on Megan's Twitter, not Megan Thee Stallion, it's this woman who keeps up with like a lot of trials. So if you want to know anything about any ongoing trial, she does a good job keeping us in the loop. So it's just like a lot of things Tori was saying. And as a person who who claimed he was not guilty but was also riding on himself so many times and just proving beyond a reasonable doubt that he is a very horrible person, his fans were just eating it up. Talking about some It's Rock Nation. <laughs> Every time I think of the little girl, I don't know if that's his sister or what, whoever that is to him. It's Rock Nation! Open up! 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 legally he's not an american so like but them canadians be running a rampage in america because y'all remember when justin bieber was on like this little rampage in america i don't know what it is about america that, that turned the canadians crazy but they need to get together and also we all well i didn't know until my friend explained to me that tori is very unhinged she's been unhinged um from years ago when he decided to go on youtube it was like he was the best rapper and he would rap he would out rap anybody and like basically doing rap battles right he ended up losing one of the rap battles and whoever he lost to him hey it's editor jay here i just came to further explain the situation between uh Tory Lanez and Dax. Dax is a Canadian rapper, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, like I said, Tory did this challenge where he called out all the rappers because he said he can out rap anybody on any beat, basically. So he just wanted to prove himself to everybody. So he did, you know, a couple rap battles with different celebrities. So when Dax did it, um, I'm assuming that Dax got the best of Tori. So when Tori finally caught up to Dax, he ran down on him. He forced him to apologize to him. Not only that, allegedly Dax is saying that Tori and his bodyguards pistol whipped him. So allegedly, and also Tori threatened him, allegedly. All this is alleged, and this is all from Dax's account. Unhinged behavior, may I say? Hey, I'm here again. I also forgot to mention that during the time period, he also assaulted August Alcina for not speaking to him. So it just proves more and more to us why this man is very unhinged and he needs to be locked behind bars because he attacked this man unprovoked. Uh, that's all I want to say about Tori. He got sentenced to 10 years. He definitely deserves it because the man is unhinged. So now we're into the Alabama brawl. You got Black Aquaman. <laughs> Yo, when I tell you the brawl was funny, and then you have those people talking about some. Why do y'all think it's funny that they jump this man, that they jump these white folks, and all this other stuff? It's about peace. It's about love. No, they they started it, and then they couldn't finish it. So like, they literally jumped this black worker as he was trying to do his job, just telling him, "Hey, move out the way," so the ferry could dock. Like, cause it's a lot of people on there, and they said it was an event, so they were already agitated and they were on the ship for so long 
So it's just like, they, they did all that and they found out that when black people stick together, y'all would never overcome never overcome and i think it's just funny and all the people who were like well it's 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 color people so you know not all of them because a lot of some of them just they understand so then also on top of that people are like coming up with the reference of my notes itchy i'm sorry but yeah you know some you know that song by jason i don't know his name but it's like try this in a small town i they said it's a reference I don't listen to that song. I ain't listen to the song. I don't care about the song. But I'm pretty sure it is. So, because a lot of people are using it. So, you do the math. Two plus two equals four. The math is mathing at this point. Yeah, we have all of that going on at the moment. Oh, yeah. Then the, the, the person who swam across the ocean, he was a 16 year old boy. I think they end up getting, like, they end up donating to like a GoFundMe or like a something. And he was able to get his stuff for school and things of that nature. And you know, because all of it, all of it could have been avoided if they would have never jumped him. And then I, <laughs> they beat the brakes off one of the people so bad that his Crocs literally, like his feet went through the front of the Crocs. If I could find the picture, I put it on the screen. Like literally, the feet went through the front of the Crocs. I ain't never seen that happen. So I was just like. Yeah, they beat the brakes off of him. Then you have the man with the chair whacking the woman on top of the head. And you have some people that were saying, well, why did he do that? And she's just a woman, but that woman was fighting them. So she was fighting the man. Now y'all want us to go bad because she got whacked in the head with a chair. But she shouldn't have been fighting them in the first place. Make it make sense. I don't feel bad. She deserved it. We all know she deserved it. If you don't feel like she deserved it, you're a problem. All that happens and we're at peace and harmony at this time when it comes to not peace and harmony i'm just playing but you know the alabama brawl definitely was lit um i wasn't a part of it but alabama been on, on an all-time high since the beginning of this year last month you had carly faking her disappearance which i'm gonna talk about that because it's a similar case it was a white woman though yeah so we're gonna talk about that on my true crime channel whenever that comes about i'm gonna try to start that this weekend so yeah my nose is so itchy now that we got all of that out the way let's talk about the main attraction the thing i've been wanting to talk about the longest the most and all that stuff i know this is like all jumbled into like one thing but i had to because like i wanted to do my makeup and be productive because if i didn't do my makeup and talk to you guys i wasn't gonna do nothing like i literally was not about to film and i really do want to film so i can get this video up like by tomorrow which is wednesday so we're gonna see if we get it up by tomorrow the 9th so i just crossed i'm trying to hurry but doing makeup and things of that nature so let's get into the nitty gritty which is the jason cole or justin versus brooklyn frost or as he says the frost's situation now that situation has been messy from beginning to end and i haven't reacted to well i haven't seen a lot of their lives i've seen like one of their lives i've seen one of justin's lives it was like an hour long and after i'm done filming this video i'm gonna react to some of his lives because why not but we're not gonna do all that long live stuff and then also i want to react to brooklyn's video that actually set this all into like all the mess coming out okay so brooklyn decides to go on her channel and she posts basically like oh i finally spoke out get ready with me so the get ready with me basically was like kind of like the start of the drama but it didn't really like start start officially and so justin made his response his response video was titled um i'm done with the bs my final video which technically it was his final video on the situation but he went alive a lot of times throughout them arguing online and all that other stuff which you know roughly so because brooklyn has said a lot of things i'm not a crazy guy i'm a fix my makeup's gonna come together but brooklyn had accused him of a lot of things so this is what really kicked it into high gear in my opinion is when brooklyn accused him of being <laughs> allegedly so Brooklyn went on her story and she basically posted a picture of her like in, dis in distress and her nose was bleeding and you could just tell she either she was like crying or like she was emotional or some stuff like that you know you know so obviously that's like already crazy and then the caption was something along the lines of um this is who y'all look up to and let you know just basically putting out there that hey y'all look up to him but he'd be putting his hands on me so boom justin goes on live and he gets to breaking his down about how that situation happened her her nose ended up bloody and he bent on her to delete the picture because he she tried to make it seem as if he was her and all this other stuff 
but before I continue, I do need to backtrack because in Brooklyn's video, she was making it seem as though that her and Justin just came to a mutual agreement that, hey, like, we don't need to be together. Like, this is not for us. We're just too toxic and all that other stuff. And, you know, Justin said at first he was going to let it ride. But then he was like, no, nah, like, I'm not to keep saving face for you. And then when it comes to me, you kind of just like, you throw me out to the wolves type of deal. So I'm like, okay, understandable. Then he goes on his video like i said done with the bull bs like final video and he was just he immediately goes on and say i didn't watch the whole video i watched like two minutes of it and he immediately immediately starts the video off but like me and brooklyn did not come to a mutual agreement to break up i broke up with her she knows why i broke up with her so now it's like on the edge of your seat like what's going on like why did you break up with her and then that's when she started doing all that rah rah and going on live and he's going on live so they're going back and forth back and forth so every time she would say something he would debunk it like she said he was cheating on her um during the relationship he said he wasn't he did start talking to other girls when they broke up like every time they break up and she'll see him like start talking to other girls that's when he, she would want to come back and you know toxic love that's all i'm gonna say so then she goes online and she starts saying like he lied about his age how could i ever trust him like i can't be with somebody like that mind you guys they were together for two years he lied about his age at the beginning of their relationship but she kept going back mind you everybody thinking like yeah like this is just another one of their cycles where they break up and then eventually they're gonna get back together but when justin starts speaking out people was like oh yeah he is done done sorry my nose is really itchy y'all don't think i'm digging in my nose but so let's get some more of the tea. So Justin basically explains how Brooklyn got the bloody nose. He said that Brooklyn was already mad at him and they were filming that day already. He, um, he allegedly, that, I'm just saying alleged because we don't really know. We're just going based off of like he say, she say, and y'all know how that could go. But anyway, so he was like, he did record the, all the, the whole like incident, her like hitting on him and stuff. And so when he, when she's mad, you know, he tries to give her a space. He tries not to talk to her because he knows how she is. So, you know, he tries not to overdo it and like make the situation bigger than what it was. So, you know, respectfully, you know, if you know your partner, you know your partner. So you know what to do, you know, you know what not to do. But yeah, so then Justin goes on to say, that basically the cameraman, I think it's his friend, was being messy and was like, dang, Brooklyn, he didn't even open the door for you. Cause like he literally said like, when well, she's mad, he just try to give her space. He doesn't try to be all up on her because once again, he knows how Brooklyn gets. So, you know, rightfully so. So, do I make him look crazy? It's giving very much crazy. So, boom. Brittany gets in the car and he's about to start the car. And basically, she starts punching on him, wailing on him. And he basically, like, kind of, like, throws his forearm on her and, like, to calm her down and pin her down. So, basically, in the midst of them going back and forth, like, hustling about, like, you know, trying to calm her and get her to calm down is when she got her nose, like, hit in, like, in the process and stuff like that. So, when he noticed that... Um, her nose was bleeding. He was like, Brooklyn, your nose is bleeding. Like, you, you look what you did. Like, yeah. So Brooklyn, in the midst of that, she's, you know, she looks at her phone. She takes her phone, look at her stuff in the camera, and then she sneakily takes the picture. But luckily, the cameraman caught it, and he was like, hey, yo, Brooklyn, what you doing? So Justin was like, you know, that's weird. And he told her to, to delete it because, like, you're trying to make it seem as if I'm hitting you and I'm not hitting on you. Like, yeah. He was trying to protect himself, basically. So, so that's how the nose situation happened. Brooklyn gets on live and just says that he's ruining my life and this nigga like he's ruining my fucking life. He's ruining my life. He's ruining my life. He's ruining my life, bro. And I hate that shit. Like, leave me alone. That's all. That's literally all I'm asking. I'm not being disrespectful. Like people are coming telling me like he's liking he's liking um comments. That's what I'm saying. Like that nigga bash me in the video. I'm not once bashing him. All I said was leave me alone. I can't tell him that. I can't tell him that. I tried talking to him privately on the phone yesterday. I called him three times. I tried to tell him to leave me alone. Privately. Privately. Like, what are you talking about? They talking about something. You just called me yesterday. Done. Nigga, you know I just called you, bro. Like, what are you talking about? I tried to be so nice, bro. And look where it ends. Like, look, look where it has me end up at. Like, bro, no, leave me alone, bro. Like, you don't want nothing to do with me. And I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> Why are we even doing this? Why? Like, no, both people don't even get online. That shit is annoying. Like, I think that I have to, I have to protect my character. I have to protect me. And niggas just bashing me and saying shit. I look bad, bro. This nigga's having me look bad. Bad. I'm supposed to suck up? No, nigga, I've been quiet for way too long. Way too long. I 
Let me take a pen to me, bro. All this nonsense. I'm not gonna say it's nonsense because we don't know what he was doing. We don't know what they were doing to each other. So this is where Brooklyn messed up. Like literally, you know, people would, you know, you know, a lot of people don't play about domestic violence. So you know, Justin really came out and cleared it. Like I said, and he was like, he only saying stuff because, um, you know, they could ruin his career and all this other stuff. So then Justin's just start coming out and telling all the business. And these lies, this is all this information is from different lies of his. Um, and it's not gonna be in order. I'm just gonna go through the juiciest ones I remember. So. One of the lives, he basically, you know, he was emotional and he was saying, like, tell him how you feeling, you know. Tell him, tell him, tell him how you fucking, bro. Tell him how you fucking, and you fucking lied to me. Tell him how you did that, bro. Tell him about all the nights I was fucking tripping. Tell him about all the nights I was tripping, nigga. Calling your phone, making songs, e nigga, emailing you, nigga. Sick, nigga. Nigga, I'm tripping, nigga. You fucking, nigga. You lied about it to my face and put it on your brain, nigga. You know, Dylan is like the hero of the story. Like, he's the one that's really saying, like, you know, nigga, you know, you're fucking lying to me. Like, you know, you're fucking lying to me. Like, you know, you're fucking lying to me. Like, you know, you're fucking lying to me the brother like the fake brother or whatever and yeah so when everybody heard that they was like wait a minute and then people start putting two to two two and two together and it was like that makes sense whatever so then justin was like um here i already thought they had something going on and then people in the comments was making him feel bad because you know people was like oh you look better with dylan and da -da. broke up nigga feel, nigga feel like this this how i feel like this because I'm, I'm bald headed I'm, I'm, i feel like this you see i go to prime with a nigga you see him start doing videos with nigga. You see, you see, okay, it's prime. Then start hanging out. Then it's videos. Then it's edits. Acting like they like each other. Which you never know because you just can't never tell. Right? Just imagine your boyfriend seeing all this. Because when you, you reg like regular people, you break up with somebody, you don't never see that shit. You, know, you never see it again. It's just, all right, that's a girl, that's a girl. Well, me, I see this shit forever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm already feeling like these. You feel me? Then, bam, all the videos, all the TikToks coming, all this shit coming. Then these niggas move into their house, bro. <laughs> then these niggas move into their career, bro. You ain't never dealt with no shit like that. How the fuck would you feel if a nigga that you think like your girl move into the crib with, him, with her? And they living in the same crib. So now that thought you have it when you see them all together every time, now you think about that 24-7. Because this person know if this person lays their head at where your people lay, where your female lay at. Niggas don't understand it. So when I made all these songs, I'm crying and I'm sick. Y'all like, oh, he tripping. Oh, no. The fuck you mean my girlfriend is living with a whole nother nigga? You feel me? My girlfriend, she she doing songs with niggas. She doing music videos with niggas. She da, da. Niggas don't understand that shit. Niggas look at me like, man, cut the man, cut the cat, bro. On some real shit on, on my soul, bro. We know why that shit ain't. And we know why, we know everything, like we know this shit, B, so we're not going to sit here and cap on the internet, we're not going to sit here and act like a nigga is sobbing over you on cap, and I'm not sobbing over you. On my soul, I'm not sobbing over you. Da 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 y'all know how fans are, y'all be geeked out, like, be for real, like, whatever. So, allegedly, Brooklyn slept with Dylan one night, and, uh, from J <laughs> Jay's live, he was like, she was telling, like, she was like, oh, do you want to know the truth, or like, let me be real with you, or let me be honest, or here's the truth. She was saying something along that line along those lines of like here's the real truth and it was like different truths so one truth was oh we never did anything she know i know she like okay you want to know the truth i'm like damn i'm like oh, i'm gonna hear some shit okay well we almost did it no mm -mm. keep going you gotta keep going I'm not budging i'm like nah i'm like nah you f don't lie stop lying stop lying she's like okay no she, she kept lying no my granny oh my granny i didn't i didn't i swear we almost did i swear almost 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 oh fucking most shut the fuck up lying then i'm like tell the truth i looked in her eyes because i said so you ain't fuck him? That's what she said. Okay, you want another truth? Goddamn, how many truths is it, cuz? How many truths is it? How many motherfucking truths is it? Cause, cause goddamn, if I hear this five fucking times, she like, you want another truth? He put it in, it was quick, it wasn't, it wasn't fast. It was just, it was in and out, I, I backed out. Do I like boo-boo the fucking fool to you? Do I like boo-boo the fucking fool to you? Come on, cuz. I'm like, nah, it wasn't that. You want another truth? Okay, okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Goddamn, how many truths is it? How many truths is it, cuz? I'm like, God damn, cuz. If I hear the truth again, I'm gonna jump off my balcony, cuz. Well, it didn't really count because nobody finished. It's not really sex, cuz nobody finished. Oh my gosh. When she said that, cuz. Ma, straight just ma, start just crying, just damn. Obviously, that would hurt any man. Like you said, that's your brother, allegedly. Like you, you claim that to be your brother and all this other stuff, but you had sex with him the whole time. So you know, people already don't like Brooklyn. So Brooklyn gets on live and you know starts venting and like yelling and stuff. Well, not yelling, but she was on live and stuff. And people always, obviously, in the comments, some, some, did you really do that? Did you really have sex with Dylan? Oh, okay, okay, let me address the Dylan thing. I'm not gonna, let me address that. Let me address the Dylan, the Dylan situation. <clears throat> me and Justin, everybody knows we were broken up last year, right? Everybody knows we were broken up last year. He keeps bringing up the prom shit. We were broken up. We were broken up for prom until we just got recently back together. Like, what? When, when did we get back together? Like, in the beginning of the year, this year, everybody knows we were broken up throughout the whole, most of last year. How did I cheat on you, bro? How did I cheat on you? And no, I didn't. Dylan texted me the yesterday, asking me not to bring his name up or anything, so I'm going to respect that. But I don't follow Dylan because he wasn't comfortable with me following Dylan because of, yes, me and Dylan did used to talk. 
We didn't just talk. Did I have sex with him? No. So then Dylan and his friend come out. The friend come out first before Dylan even speaks, talking about some. He said some stupid stuff. That shit, that shit unacceptable, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, at first, I had all respect for you. Like, fuck with the music, fuck with the content. Like, I had nigga, a young nigga had all respect for you, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, but you lost that shit from me, bro. Cause that shit weird, bro. Nigga ain't really said nothing about me specifically, but said something about my mans. And like, when you speak on my mans, basically you speaking to me too. Cause that's my boy, like, you feel what I'm saying? He was like, if they did like each other, they ain't none of y'all business. If they did have woo to woo, they ain't none of y'all business. Make it, I don't, I don't really care. It ain't my business. It really ain't my business. But it's just like, y'all be real with yourselves, like. And then Justin also was like, um, they ended up moving into Brooklyn's house or like the Frost house and basically it was driving him crazy because like the thoughts excuse me the thoughts he had already had about Brooklyn and Dylan messing around just amplified because now it's like y'all live together I don't know what y'all doing I'm not there type of deal and so like I said that would drive anybody hurt crazy because that would drive me crazy so then he would also say like when he'll when he'll be on the phone with Brooklyn sometimes Dylan would come in and be like who is that on the phone who are talking to on the phone like acting like he was her nigga so it's just like yeah like y'all are feeding into this boy like crazy and it's like y'all are giving him things to think about y'all are giving him ammo because it's just like do y'all really mess around or y'all just playing with me y'all just trying to play with me right now but anyway then after all of that dylan comes out in that squeaky ass bed like the bed was so squeaky like you couldn't even concentrate honestly and i'm not being funny and then oh i forgot to say that the friend dylan's friend was saying like uh it's not my beef it's not it ain't got nothing to do with me but since you're talking about my homeboy it got something to do with me now that makes no sense y'all want to be seen y'all want these views like you know what i'm saying because everybody's on justin's side so it's just like y'all trying to make brooklyn look good but y'all are actually y'all are not making it no better yeah so that happens and then him and delane end up talking which delane is brooklyn's ex she was talking to delane before she started talking to just and whole time allegedly brooklyn and delane was having sex like so she was cheating on justin whole time so that's what delane told justin and justin told this i don't know that's why i said allegedly so allegedly this all happened and that's what was going on through that whole relationship and then you also have like she ended up getting caught up because um she ended up following one boy that she was trying to talk to on instagram or whatever and he was like who was this like why he's following them and she's talking about some oh he makes beats and all this other stuff so he did his detective work he asked the board the boy said no i don't make no beats and but the boy was like i know what you're talking about and so he ended up sending screenshots to justin of brooklyn in his conversation and basically the boy mind you she's following nigga on tiktok I damn the nigga. I, I damn. This this how we first started talking. We, we was in Twitter at the time. We wasn't talking. I seen her follow me on TikTok. I seen her, seen her screenshot. Like damn, you follow niggas on TikTok. Stop talking, you know? You feel me? She like, oh nah, he make beats. The shade, the shade, the shade sent them to me. He make beats. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm like, okay. He make beats. Alright for sure. Give him on the ground. I'm like, hey bro, I rap and shit. I need some beats. You still make beats, bro? Boom. I go do the, the Christmas video. After the Christmas video, we all we, we all happy. We all happy. Hey, hey, hey we all happy. Hey. I'm like, alright, we finna go to the Christmas lights tonight. Let's do it. I'm down. Let's do it. Go home. Swear to God, go home. Now, I'm gonna show you how to talk to this girl. Is. I go home. Bam, go home. I get a text. Nah, bro, I don't make beats. Bam, go, what you mean? You don't, you don't make beats. Okay. So what so so then could just tell me like I already know what you want, bro. I already know what you want. I already know, bro. I'ma just I don't want no issues with you, bro. What you mean? Sent everything. Bam. We're supposed to meet up with Brooklyn and the their moms. I don't know if this is the same boy, but like I think it was the same boy. I don't really know. Their mom, so Brooklyn mom and his mom was in the same group message. So it's four of them in the group message talking about meeting up and all this other stuff. Bam. All right. She she trying to book flights and shit to go see her in Washington. Her mama in a group chat with his mama. <laughs> Good. Her mama in a group chat with his mama. They they talking about she telling me she going she going ice skating with her friend Nick. Whole time she gonna go up to Washington and go ice skating with her. Cause she was in Seattle at the time. Right. Cool. And it's on my birthday. This is December. This is December fourteenth. This is on my birthday. This is on my birthday. Justin was telling us about like all his emotions and like how he was crying sometimes. Like one experience, he was on a the plane. They were going to Dubai. I think somebody ended up sending him a clip of my Monique, Monica, Monique. I don't know the girl name. The mom on Instagram Live. She was talking about Justin, talking about how he is a trench baby and how she told Brooklyn that she has plenty of options so obviously he sees it and he says he's on the plane just crying because you know like 
y'all you're in my face saying one thing but then on the internet saying another thing and the mama just so messy like i would have been if i was just i would have been on my mom on her but anyway so yeah so he starts you know explaining that and how he felt and then he asked brooklyn about it she go gets his mom gets her mom and she comes with a comes with this bullshit excuse as he's still like crying his eyes out talking to him i didn't mean it like that like i meant like you're a hustler and like you you provide for your family like da 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 trying to sweet talk it but no that's not what you meant you mean he was a ratchet hood baby from compton that's what you meant because you feel like oh like my daughter is this like you know i don't like parents like that and that's why brooklyn the way she is because she has no real parent figures in her life like her mom acts like a friend versus a mom like literally but yeah so like i say everybody definitely has some opinion like her mom acts more so of her like a friend versus a mother to brooklyn and also he in the midst of all that tells us that he had to sign a contract with monique monica the mama Ten, well she told him in person like oh yeah i would just get 10 percent of whatever you make every month but then when the contract came out it was 20 percent. so she was getting five bands off of him and mind you it was basically for her to be his manager so that means she had to bring him like promo deals ads and stuff like that um but she didn't do anything so in the because the contract was a year contract and he was like probably at like the seven eight month he was like hey can like can i get off the contract because me and brooklyn been dating for a year at this point i'm trying to mom's crib and all this other stuff or can i get like at least like a couple months off so i can be able to get my mom a crib because yeah so she was saying no i can't do that but i can bring it down to 15 percent and he was like, that's like a $200 difference, all this other stuff. So Brooklyn, obviously, she sees people down her side. So she goes on live again. And her friend TT is in the comments. So I'm like, you're going to make it worse. Like, just leave it alone. You're going to make it worse. Just leave it alone. Then the shades are in one of the com in the comments. So I'm son, like, get off live. You're tweaking. People are mad at the shade for her telling her that. Obviously, I ain't never had no real family members. Because if my family member is tweaking on Instagram live and it's making her look bad or making them look bad, I'm gonna tell them, get off alive, you're tweaking right now. And that's what she was, she was literally tweaking and telling her that. But she didn't wanna listen. Her mom didn't have to come in alive on the, in the bathroom and tell her like, get off alive. So, boom, and now she's trying to act like she's carefree, she doesn't care, and like, she's in Miami eating grapes and- Out here in Miami and niggas still lying on my name. Great! so that whole situation from beginning to end is crazy like literally and i really do feel for justin because he really did you could tell that he left that girl and it was very obvious that he had more feelings for her versus like what she had for him versus what she felt for him just based off like videos and stuff people been telling him that but you know obviously people gotta learn just like the little london on the track versus summer walker situation but that situation's over with obviously but the meat saying i can't bring i can't help my cousin bring the groceries in damn yeah, i can't help my cousin bring the bags in the house went to the grocery store man and situation is crazy i'm not gonna talk about it because it's kind of like set and done but it's not set and done it's just like a i don't really need to talk about it because we all know that he lied we don't, I'm, I'm not gonna say he lied. Well, he did lie from the looks of it. He, but yeah, so now um, Justin released a song. I think it's called Heartbreak or something like that. And you know, people are loving the song. People are supporting Justin. People are happy that he finally spoke out because, you know, they try to clown him. Dylan and his friends try to clown him. Tell him something. You don't need to be screaming at the camera and there's no sense of doing all that. We do whatever. But it's just like, Dylan gets no cool points because you just don't, you don't get no cool points. And then even Justin said like, you know, at one point in time, he tried to like befriend them because obviously Brooklyn says, hey, this is my, these are my brothers. Like, you know, I look at them like brothers. So he tried to befriend them and stuff. So at one point they, you know, they was messing with him. But then once I guess the Dylan and Brooklyn started messing around, they didn't want nothing to do with Dylan. I mean, Justin no more. But yeah, so that's pretty much the situation. I feel like I'm happy that Justin spoke out because, you know, everybody has to speak their truth. And the reason why people really didn't, people really started turning on Brooklyn because at first people was like on Brooklyn's side. But, you know, once she lied about being in an abusive relationship and Justin basically 
clock her clocked her on it yeah oh i almost forgot so another reason why we know that brooklyn lied about the abuse allegedly <laughs> was that whoever she told us that she never told anybody that he was like physically he was being physically abusive to her because she knew she was gonna go back she knew she wasn't ready to leave him yet right that's what she told us and then then she goes on her story and posts like a screenshot she holds the messages whoever sent her this was like yeah he's been abusing you since 2020 dragging you out the car i mean dragging you by your hair locking you in cars and all this other stuff so justin was like how could i lock you in a car when the unlock button is on the inside and then i was like yeah that makes sense like how could he do that like can you explain to us how that was possible she never explained and we don't know who sent her that message and then obviously he gets online and he was like whoever that is probably haven't known her since 2020 because matter of fact i know her since 2020 they met each other february of 2021 so like how could he be doing all this and i know each other since then it's, it's just crazy it's just like a lot of back and forth i think brooklyn just needs a break from social media but also her whole image uh, another reason why people don't well i think the main reason people don't like her is because her whole image was this godly i'm saving my virginity and some mary image but yet she would say that and then proceed to go on like do like a trip and drink video and just tell her business what her and justin was doing having like the image that you're trying to perceive and give to us and make us believe that that's really you it's crazy because it's not you like get your life together if you're gonna get a lie stick to the lie like if you're gonna tell a lie stick to the lie commit to lie through and through please the girl is just crazy um i feel bad for justin like i said can you see the blush i think the blush is gone it is oh my god now i'm washing the blush away i don't know what's wrong with my nose it's been itchy all day but yeah so it's just like Brooklyn's getting what she deserved. And, you know, happy for Justin. Pray he moves on. He finds somebody who really loves him for who he is and all the good things that he does for them. Brooklyn, I just pray you find healing because it's never okay to abuse or, like, allegedly abuse or put your hands on anyone. Like, it's never okay. But, before I end it, also a clip went viral on TikTok and Twitter of Brooklyn. It was supposed to be a prank, but th some of these pranks they be doing be having truth behind it. Like that's why I don't like pranks. Like if you're gonna do a prank, do a fake prank. But sometimes those fake pranks be having truth behind it. So basically, I guess she was trying to say, I guess it was like a disrespectful prank. I don't even, I don't believe in disrespectful pranks. That prank means you really meant that you really want to disrespect me. It's what I'm hearing. But yeah, so Brooklyn was basically saying oh that's why your dad's not talking to you right now and just hit him below the belt and he's talking about something like like brooklyn that's not funny like you could tell like that he really hit him it really hurt him and she's just laughing and going on and on and shut the f up that's why your dad's not talking talk to you right now what that's why your dad's not talking to you right now you wish he was talking to you you want your dad to talk to you but he's not well, that's not even cool bro. that's 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 getting hella deep though you want bro. your dad you want your dad to spend time with you but he don't want to he don't want to spend time with you and it's just like that's not a prank like you know that, sh that like him and his dad not talking and you saying this is a prank like you're doing this as a prank it's not funny like sweet get it together yeah that's all i have to say about the whole little all these situations um if y'all see me the same like makeup and stuff just no thing i look real tan but i promise y'all i'm not like but yeah so um but next time y'all see me i'll be like my lashes be on my lips will be on and stuff like that um but yeah that's the end of this video i have to go charge up my camera batteries because they're dead they're dying so yeah um if you like the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when i upload for you guys and if you haven't already follow me on all of my social media is linked in the description word down below and yeah i'm gonna try to edit this video now as my camera batteries are charging up and until next time make sure you guys stay uniquely you because there's only one you if you don't be here who will be for you and i'll see you guys in my next video